Good morning, everybody. So we got folks coming in here to join us for our Sage user sessions. We're excited about this meeting today and sharing with everyone what they can expect in 2023 and beyond as we kick off our Sage user group. Give just another minute to get some people to trickle in here this morning. I know everybody's excited to get going and they want to be able to attend all the sessions today and hopefully win some fabulous prizes. Looking at previews, sneak previews, coming attractions. Okay, let's get rolling here this morning. Thanks everybody for jumping on for our Sage user sessions today. This is your first of, of action-packed morning of information um, with, with our team here at Oasis Solutions. We're really excited to host everybody here. We love doing this. We love spreading knowledge and creating a community of expert Sage users. I've got some guest speakers here today that are gonna take us through some new 2023 um, release functions that you're going to be excited about. My name is Aaron Rosenberg. Uh, for those of you that have not met me before, I am a partner at Oasis Solutions and the Chief Executive Officer here. Uh, going to get you started again on our agenda. So going to talk real quick about us and our partnership approach. Um, most of you uh, have been partners with Oasis and some of you for decades, and we really appreciate that partnership. Um, we want to inform you about the future of SAGE and what's new specifically with your Sage 100 application. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about cloud strategy um, and our different Sage partners and options in the cloud. This is uh, not, not a bleeding edge topic anymore. You know, 20 years ago, back in the early 2000s, it would have been, um, but do wanna make sure that we are helping all of our clients and being their trusted advisor when it comes to what their strategy is with the cloud. It's been on top of our mind um, as we've seen more and more uh, influences into ransomware, cyber attacks, things like that. We want to make sure everybody's secure, reliable, and accessible to their Sage application or thinking about the future of what uh, their business application stack looks like in the cloud. And then we'll look at today's schedule. Again, we've got a really um, exciting agenda here, and we'll get some um, spend to win gift cards going as well. Lana's going to help us out with that. Quick housekeeping for all of our sessions today. Um, we're going to be on, um, uh, participants are going to be on mute, but believe it or not, you know, we still want to hear from you. So we're going to use the Q&A for any questions. Uh, we've got some time, hopefully, at the end of the session today to get to questions. If we don't answer everybody's questions uh, in this half hour, then we will uh, promise to follow up with answers or at least more information on how we can get back to you and answer any questions that you might have. Um, the chat is going to be utilized for functionality issues. So if you're experiencing any technical difficulties, problems with connectivity, if, for example, you can't see us, hear us, things like that, obviously we want to know. So please chat us and let us know. You can also chat your applause. You don't have to wait until the end of the session to uh, do that as well. Um, and then everybody's favorite, we're going to do a spin to win. The lovely Fulana Callahan is going to take over here and spin a wheel for a chance for everyone to win a $25 Amazon gift card. If you're uh, going to be on all the day sessions, there is going to be a, a super bonus $100 gift card at the end of the session as well. So just to reiterate kind of the mantra here, the guiding light for Oasis Solutions, it's all about people and process first. And then the technology that we um, are so grateful to have partnerships with Sage and the Sage 100 application that many of you use today helps make your people and processes more productive. Right. So there's a ton of different options in the technology space. There's a ton of different options in the partner space. And we're really grateful that you've chosen to invest your time, resources and partnership with Oasis Solutions. And we've been doing uh, people process technology for 32 plus years. So starting in 1991, we helped um, people implement and then support their Sage applications. You know, our team is continuing to grow. We continue to look for the most qualified and outstanding team members with experience 
not only in applications, but also in industry. So CPAs, ex-CFOs, controllers, people that have worked in your types of roles and organizations on the other side of the table, I like to say. We're supporting now over 500 clients across the U.S. I'm very grateful for some accolades here down at the bottom of the screen, being an incredible awards winner, being consistently on the top 100 value-added resellers list, and most recently, being a best place to work winner for now 2023, uh, which makes us uh, four, uh, three years in a row and six out of the last seven. We're also a fast 50 growth company, which is really important for us too, because it helps us to continue to invest in our team members and all the resources that it takes to continue to grow our team, our knowledge and help our customers. Uh, we just applied for that award today. So fingers crossed, we will continue to uh, getting our streak of fast 50 growth companies within the greater uh, Louisville, Kentucky, and a community. So my other partners here that you are familiar with, hopefully, Karen Roberson, our first employee, been here nearly 30 years, going to be celebrating that anniversary. Patrick Johnson leads our operations, and so our practice managers roll up to Patrick. And then William, who has uh, taken over a role here as our CIO, is another one of my business partners expert programmer. And then all of these lovely faces on the Sage team, some have been with us many, many years, and we've also invested in some new resources as well. So Garen Stout is going to be on um, with Barbara Swales a lot of these sessions today, as well as Jody Patterson. These are some of your um, resources that we have on our team to help ensure that you're getting the most out of your Sage application. They facilitate conversations, questions, uh, things that you may need, enhancements, to your application or third-party integrated solutions that we endorse and Sage endorses to help you get the most out of your investment. And we also are really, really uh, thankful to have Jeff Stout here leading the practice. And Jeff is gonna take over here and take you through some of the 2023 enhancements and also look at a roadmap for 24 and 25. So with that, Jeff, I'll introduce you here for a little look at the road ahead and updates, starting with this TLS overview. Thanks, Aaron. And again, again thanks everybody for uh, for joining us today. Um, appreciate you all taking taking the time out of your day to to, to spend a little time with us and, and and learn a little more information about about your ERP system and, and things that are that are that are upcoming. Uh, first thing that that we'll talk a little bit about is the <clears throat> is a TLS uh, with Sage 100. And, and hopefully uh, this is going to fall on, on ears that, that, that y'all have heard this already. It's, it's been a big thing that we've, uh, we've been discussing with our customers for the last uh, eight, nine, or 10 months. So hopefully this is not new information, but it's still important for us to mention again uh, that, that say, Sage is no longer supporting TLS 1.0 or 1.1 security protocols. And, and really this is a, a, a directive that's, that's come from Microsoft that they are deprecating their TLS 1.0 and 1.1 security protocol. So, so the impact of that is it does impact Sage license servers. So if you're on a version of, uh, of Sage, uh, 100 that, uh, that does not support TLS 1.2, uh, licensing for that server will, will basically end on the 1st of October of 2020, 20, of 2023. So we've been working, uh, Garen and her team have been working with our, a lot with our customers to get them updated onto a, a compatible uh, version of, of Sage uh, 100. Uh, so that so that they will continue uh, being able to work in the application uh, after after October first. So again, hopefully hopefully this is something that you all have, have heard about from us. If now is the first time you're hearing about that, uh, I would encourage you to to reach out uh, to Garen and and her team and and have a discussion. But but we've been actively working with our customers to make sure that we get folks uh, updated to the current version of of uh of sage 100 so that they can take advantage or or not be uh impacted by this change to uh, the deprecation of tls 1.0 or 1.1 all right 
So Sage, uh, with version 2023, we want to take you through a few of the enhancements that that you'll see uh, in version in version 2023 uh, of Sage 100. So there's some of the big uh, functionality enhancements that Sage has worked on uh, revolve around uh, their production management and inventory requirements planning, and then just uh, several usability enhancements within the application itself. So we, we've got a few slides here. I'm not going to read each of these <clears throat> items here. Uh, you can take a look and 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 see for yourself, but I do want to want to make note uh, of a few things. Sage, uh, Sage is putting a lot of effort into the manufacturing distribution functionality in their application, specifically with production management and also with their operations management applications. Uh, production management, for, for some of you all that may have had the, the old work order in Sage 100, production management is a replacement for that. So if you have work order, and, and we've been doing this recently, upgrading folks uh, from work order in into production management, uh, but, but this is a replacement. They're continuing to add functionality uh, to production management. Really the last couple versions has been real heavy with, uh, with production management uh, enhancements. And again, you can see some of those there. And if you have specific questions on things, feel free to reach out to us, but, but it's, been a, it's been a big push with Sage and will continue to be as they, as they continue to go forward to, to enhance uh, their, manufacturing, their manufacturing products. Now, one other thing that we have is the is inventory requirements planning. So we're showing this kind of as a backup slide to production management, but I'd point out that that IRP, inventory requirements planning or IRP, is not just for, for manufacturers. If you're doing distribution um, and, and, and trying to manage uh, inventory uh, and, and when to purchase that inventory based on demand, where that demand comes from, uh, from say, customer sales orders forecast, uh, or things like that, uh, IRP is, is a good tool, okay? Uh, it does a lot of suggestions uh, for what needs to be purchased, but gives you a lot of uh, ability to go in and, and, and manage that and maintain your IRP worksheets. And so in, the, in a session that, that we're doing here uh, the, this morning uh, in main, on manufacturing distribution, Jim Wimsad is going to be demonstrating some of the functionality in inventory uh, requirements planning. So if there is a, a need that you have internally to help manage uh, your workflow around purchasing uh, of inventory, whether it has to do with just distribution side or whether it has to do with, with production, uh, I would encourage you to, to kind of to kind of jump in there and see some of the some of the new things that we have uh, around inventory requirements planning. But again, a lot of a lot of new features um, you know, with production management, inventory requirements planning, this age is pushing into their product. There's also just some additional updates and some of these updates, uh, we're gonna highlight a few of these in the next session in, in kind of our, our tips and tricks um, uh, session with, with Sage 100, but there's some, some just enhanced um, usability functions. Uh, within Sage 100, you'll see some of those here. One that that we didn't get on the screen here that 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 I really like is is in in selection on accounts payable invoices. You know they've added a checkbox, <laughs> right? Um, so, some, sometimes just those little usability enhancements are are really nice to, uh, within the application to make the day to day processes that we do uh, a little bit a little bit better, a little bit easier. So so we've highlighted a few here and again, there's going to be some that that Tammy and, and Lisa show upcoming here in the in the in the tips and and tricks section. Uh, kind of one thing though that that I like to point out when we show these enhancements is that Sage is making an investment in Sage 100 um, and they're they're continually updating the products and responding to the needs uh, that partners and customers uh, provide to them. And you'll see here on the next slide, they, they've released a little a road ahead, which is also good. So there's of what our roadmap looks like uh, for the next couple of years, 2024 and 2025. Uh, a couple of things that I, just to highlight here, you'll see that they are doing um, in 2024, they're, they're continuing updating that security protocol, We're going to the TLS 1.3. So that we hopefully won't get caught in a situation where, where Microsoft starts deprecating some of these again. So, so they're going to continuously update that. Uh, the 64-bit version of Sage 100 is going to become the default 
Um, that may not mean much to some folks out there. You, you, you might not even have, have heard that, but 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 in I believe it was 2022, Sage released a 64-bit uh, install as well. So so that'll be the default going forward. Uh, you'll see some of the some of the further enhancements that they're doing kind of down in in the middle. Uh, lock, lockstep platform AR and AP. Um, you know, platform integration. Sage is making investments in, 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 you know, there's a couple of companies they've purchased that they're integrating their software across all their applications, Sage 100 included. So there's going to be a lot of functionality enhancements there to, to make um, processes within your ERP application uh, much more, much more efficient. Okay. They're also doing a Sage uh, HR integration. And then again, you'll see some of the usability enhancements down there. That delete merge where, warehouse is a, is a good one. Some of y'all who've ever struggled with having to do that uh, would, would agree there. But also the full product search. Sage has a, a search functionality in there, and they're going to expand that so that it's not just a, 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 a search on functionality, but it's going to be a full product search uh, throughout data uh, within the system. And I will note that that in 2024 and 25 both, and, and again, you can see the things there, but the nice little bullet point at the end that says other to be determined partner customer feedback, uh, Sage is, is, uh, does respond uh, to feedback. And, and you know, when, when they ask customers uh, in their surveys or when they ask partners in their surveys, uh, of what types of enhancements they would like, those get put into their cycle. So if you all have things that, that you're noticing that you said, hey, I've just never mentioned that, but it would be really nice if Sage did this or if Sage did that, don't be afraid to mention that because we will communicate that back to uh, back to Sage and hopefully get that in a cycle so that they can continue uh, to make their product uh, uh, easier to use for, for users and add the functionality that people uh, are asking for. Okay. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate yep. you going through some of this. I think we also should uh, just do a little fair safe harbor <laughs> statement here, right? These are on the roadmap. They're currently in That's production, right. uh, but right. you uh, be careful, you know, kind of what, uh, what you expect and don't hold Sage exactly to this roadmap. And again, there might be some enhancements that <laughs> um, they come out with prior or uh, in, mm -hmm. in conjunction with some of these. And mm -hmm. Jeff and I were able to go out to the Sage Global Partner Summit just a few weeks ago, get some of this information, bring it back to you. Um, I think the important piece of this is that, you know, there's still a lot of product enhancements into this very mature product mm -hmm. of Sage 100. Um, and we do want to talk about that. And we'll obviously do that all morning here with you. Um, I went up into the sky a little bit to talk about our next subject here, um, which is cloud strategy. So that's going to be kind of our theme here for this year's user session around cloud strategy. And really our question to you is, what is your cloud strategy? And hopefully you have one. And our mission as your partner is either to be working with you to accomplish that cloud strategy or working with you to establish that cloud strategy. Because that's Sage's strategy as well. And it's really a recurring theme um, and was front and foremost in a lot of the sessions that Jeff and I and Patrick went and uh, saw at the user conference or the partner conference, rather, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, partnerships with uh, Microsoft, even, which you know has a competitive notion to it because they have a business management stack as well, but also ways that they can integrate tools like Office 365, et cetera. Now we're not getting into these personal productivity tools, but we wanna be a trusted advisor and a resource for all our customers, again, to either position yourselves in the middle of that cloud strategy that you're hoping to accomplish or sit down with you and really establish one. And we have a ton of options at Oasis. And we made decisions over a decade ago to partner with an application like NetSuite, which is a true cloud SaaS solution. And then more recently, um, we became Sage Intech partners. So that's another option that we can offer to customers. Um, a couple of years ago, Sage put out an endorsed product or partnership with um, Cloud at Work, which is an option that some of you might be on today, which is all different types of cloud options, but we wanna make sure that you have the right strategy in place. So we're positioning ourselves in the middle of this shifting market. Um, more recently, right, we put together 
um, key factors coming out of accessibility for COVID. That was a big thing for us. Um, again, cyber threats, ransomware, et cetera. It's all this has helped shine a spotlight on really an absolute need for a redundant and secure ERP application. So when Sage approached us originally about Intact, and we have sessions around cloud at work at Intact today that I hope you can join. Um, you know, they acquired Intact back in 17 as a, as a really a strategic piece to their overall product portfolio. And we've been paying close attention to where they're investing resources, uh, what are they relaying to their investors on earnings calls? How are they positioning themselves to the customers? And it's really become abundantly clear that a lot of those resources, product development, personnel, are heavily leaning towards that Sage and Tech product. So we definitely want to talk to you about that. We want to talk to you about the functionality that it offers. There's also still some significant gaps in that functionality. And some of the things that we just looked at, um, particularly around manufacturing, and inventory management, um, those things are just not available in that application today. Now, NetSuite's a comparable solution for manufacturers, but even now, Sage 100 still has some more mature and feature-rich options, but they're building road roadmaps, right, and bridges to their Timberline application for construction real estate. Um, the Sage 100 application is on the roadmap as well. So it's really our responsibility to, again, tell you about what's going on, what we see in the marketplace, what we see particularly with Sage, and align ourselves to help you make the best decisions for your business as it continues to shift and grow. So I want to assure you, you know, again, there's tons of development going on in Sage 100, as you saw. But main takeaway I want you to hear this morning is that Oasis is prepared. You know, we've put resources and investment in our company to help you accomplish your cloud strategy or help you develop one. And our, our intention is just to be aligned with those goals and resources uh, that you have. So real quick, a couple of sneak peeks on Sage Intact, just digging a little bit into some of the major highlights of why we chose to partner um, with Sage Intact. Consistently outstanding ratings from customers and analysts across Gartner, um, Trust Radius G2 is kind of the Yelp for software reviews, right? It's all user-driven reviews, and they continue to give Sage Intact extremely high ratings across those user-submitted um, uh, surveys. It is, it is a little different in a cloud strategy because it's what's called a true cloud or SaaS solution. Um, there is accessibility anywhere, anytime that you can get to the internet across any device, anywhere in the world, including up here in the clouds with me. Um, at 99.99% uptime, uh, four major upgrades are happening every year. So once a quarter, they're releasing new functions and those again are seamless. So it's a very different than what your upgrade would look like for this 2023 um, version that you've talked with Garen and the team about. Uh, they also have really deep vertical focuses. So um, really positioning themselves with AI CPA certified best in class GL functionality, uh, but project management is really um, uh, great in it. Revenue recognition, right? They have certain industries that are, um, healthcare is another one because it's HIPAA compliant that it's really aligned to. And some that again, it's, it's not the best fit for, but we're able to have that conversation with you and determine if it's gonna be a good roadmap um, for your company. Maybe not even in 2024, 2025, but beyond. Uh, the dimensional chart of accounts is certainly something that a lot of our Sage 100 customers have been excited about when they've seen that demonstration. NetSuite offers a similar type of function as well. So multi-entity shared capabilities as well. So not jumping in and out of different companies, all of it consolidated, and really some cool investments in AI tools, some, some really neat stuff. Um, that was demonstrated at the partner summit around uh, in, in Excel asking uh, SageBot to show cash balance projections and it thinking and coming up with reports. Some very, very cool stuff that's on the roadmap for Sage Intact. Also, uh, a slew of, of add ons and a marketplace and an open application program and interface, um, partnerships with Salesforce and ADP and some of the other cloud solutions out there that they consider to be best in class add-ons. Um, a little bit about cloud at work. This will be a session as well. Just a different option, but a really awesome option that a lot of our customers have taken advantage of. This is a Sage endorsed partner and an Oasis Alliance partner that helps put your Sage instance in the cloud, making it way more secure, way more redundant, way more reliable uh, and accessible than what you can get typically in your own infrastructure. 
Um, so we really are happy with the uh, way that Cloud of Work has treated our clients, um, have close relationships with the folks there. They're aligned with um, our strategy on Sage applications as well. So it's delivered as the SaaS experience with the same feature-rich Sage application that you're used to. And some of you may be on Cloud of Work today. Um, and if you haven't heard about it and you're interested in doing that, either now or as a transition to something else, you know, again, we're wanting to align ourselves closely with whatever your business goals and desires would be. So here's what's coming up for you this morning. Um, I'm gonna pop your popcorn, refill your coffee and get ready for an exciting morning. Next, we're gonna talk about reporting with Sage 100. Uh, we're gonna come back, talk with tips and tricks. Uh, Jim Wimsat, again, is one of our experts in Sage manufacturing and distribution. I'm gonna go over some more details on some of those functions that we talked about in the new release. Um, and then I guess now you do know if you're here, but we are a Sage Intech partner. I'm very, uh, very, very uh, proud of that partnership. I'm gonna talk more about that in more depth with you. And then also around cloud hosting. So how can we help you survive within a cyber attack that's gonna be in partnership with Cloud at Work. And then finally, we're gonna talk about accelerating PCI compliant payments, another topic that's been near and dear to a lot of our customers here. So this is what you can expect this morning. Um, we really appreciate you jumping on here. And we have time um, to take any questions that anybody might have about the sessions coming up, about any of the information that we relayed today. Um, but if nobody has any open questions, then we can certainly get to giving away some gift cards. So again, uh, we're gonna, Hope that everybody attends all the Sage user sessions and we're um, gonna then give away a $100 gift card at the end of the morning. But with Alana here in just a couple minutes left, I think we'll get to that. So I'm gonna stop my share here, Alana, and let you take over if you're ready. Dollars and gift cards if you continue to hang on and go through all the uh, spin to wins here. So, uh, Again, thank you for your continued partnership, for your trust and confidence in Oasis, um, the incomparable and lovely Garen Stout, our Director of Client Success, is here to help you. Um, we've got a great team surrounding her, but um, she is a person that um, can help facilitate any questions you have about your cloud strategy, um, around any of the new release functions, getting on the new re newest release, now, whatever your questions might be, she's going to be the one to help facilitate that within our team here today. So we'll let you have a couple minutes to get to the next session. And we thank you for joining us today and thank you for your continued partnership.